Greetings. I've been given this solar light to try and fix, and it should be a straightforward fix. You can see the fault there, the wires come off. And I thought, rather than just fix it, I'll, uh, I'll do a teardown, see how it ticks, and bang it up on YouTube. So here we go. It's made by, or made on behalf of Wilco, and it does say, unfortunately, for domestic household use only. So uh, if you're planning on using this sort of thing to light up your local steelworks, um, I'm afraid you're out of luck. So let's take a look inside. Uh, there are no screws in it. This mic has already taken those off for me. Cheers, Mike. And we can see what we have inside is a standard 18650 cell in a bulb holder, which is nice. So you're not in a bulb holder, in a battery holder. Um, so you can actually replace this, which is good, rather than having some fixed in place lousy battery you can never you can never uh, repair again uh, you can see the problem lies in the fact that the battery wire has actually come off there's a circuit board down here and I want to be careful not to break any more wires off this before figuring out where this one goes but I will do that and then I'll try and take this out carefully and get a close-up of the board On here you can see it's got eight LEDs. I'll check the connections out shortly. Uh, obviously, yep, we've got the cell. There's an on-off switch. That is the back of the solar panel, the front, and there is a PIR there as well, which I assume is controlled by this chip. We'll take a closer look in a moment. Right, recording this for my own benefit here before going any further and break any more wires off, we have the first two connections, the black on the left and the white on the right, those are both for the solar cell. Then we have what looks like a missing connection, which I expect is going to be this. And then a black wire, which I expect is going to be... Yep, yeah, the negative of the, of the cell. Then we have a black wire... In fact, two black wires. The next two black wires go to the on-off switch. So one goes to the, the center pin and the other goes to the right. Then we have the red, which is the positive for the LEDs, which is actually on one of the connections shared with the black wire from the, from the switch. And then we have the black wire, finally, which is the negative. Of the LEDs. This is about as close as I can get the board to the camera and keep it in focus. As you can see I've removed the connections from it and given it a little bit of a clean up and I've also taken the opportunity to trace out the schematic and here it is. IC1 is a mystery chip. I suppose it could be something like a PIC16LF18313 because they can go right down to uh, the sort of voltage levels we we're talking about here because this is running via U1 which is a two and a half volt regulator but I don't know if that chip is actually doing any sort of voltage monitoring where if U1 can't sustain the 2.5 volt supply anymore, it shuts down to protect the battery. I don't know. But it's pretty basic. The PIR will trigger the chip, the chip will trigger the MOSFET, and the MOSFET will turn the lights on. If the switch is off, then the microcontroller and the regulator are both just completely disconnected, and it's just the solar cell the battery and the battery controller. And the battery controller is a DW07D, which seems to be a pretty much standard off-the-shelf part. You can get the data sheets and everything, albeit in Chinese. And there's uh, there's not much else to it, really. What's handy about this board is it's actually marked on the back as well with all the connections. Ideal for when they snap off. I've soldered them through this time rather than surface mounting them on the other side. I've connected them the way they're supposed to be done, with them all getting pinched by the board like they're probably not supposed to be done. But hey, at least it acts as a bit of strain relief. Let's put a battery in. It works. Not very brightly at the moment though. Oh, there we go. Ah! I wonder if it's... No, it's probably flickering because the battery's low. Ah, right. I think it's a dual brightness lamp. So 
So what's happening is the LEDs go dim when it's not uh, when there's nobody about. When the sensor to pick someone up, it goes bright. Plastic and formal coating over that. And that's it. Job done. Hope someone found that interesting and uh, possibly useful if one if a wire breaks off on yours and you need to know where the wire came from. If not, then ah, never mind. Thanks for watching.